good day students today we are considering a very important topic titled inductance in an ac circuit last time we talked about capacitance in an ac circuit capacitance and its circuits offers resistance to the flow of current also inductance offers resistance to the flow of current so that it will not have negative effect on our appliances now let's see an AC voltage is connected across an inductor L and the sinus sodium full voltage the sinus sodium voltage causes a sinus sodium current to flow sinus sodium voltage means when a current is not stable it's moving voltage when the voltage is moving in a sinus sodium way Current also follows suit to move in the sinusoidal form. And voltage is the carrier of current. Whatever that happens to voltage will happen to current. And this is an inductor. This is symbol of inductor. Anytime you see a symbol like this, it's an inductor. When you see a symbol like this, it's a capacitor. The two hands will be the same. This is called am ammeter to measure the current flow in a circuit, while L is the inductor that opposes the flow of current. This is AC source. Now, the induced EMF in the inductor opposes the change in the current. The current wants to behave as if to oppose the flow, to reverse the flow. Want to behave as if to reverse the flow as it's moving. But EMF in the inductor opposes the change. As a result, the current is delayed by 90 degrees. The current is delayed behind the voltage in the circuit. We say that the current I lags behind V by pi over 2 radians. Pi is 180 divided by 2, that's 90 degrees, or by 1 over 4 circle. The circle is 360 degrees. Divided by 4, 4 L1, 4 L9, that's 90 degrees, still equivalent to 90 degrees. Current and I, current and V, have a phase difference of 90 degrees. Thus, if V, that's V root mean square, equals V naught sine omega t. Take note, V is the one, that's, the one that comes first, that the uh, subject formula is the root mean square, while V naught, the one that's with, with sine WT, is called the peak voltage. Then I equals I naught sine omega t minus pi over 2. This pi over 2 is what is telling us that current lags behind the voltage. Negative source it lags. But under capacitance, current leaves voltage by 90 degrees. This one is an important formula you must know. V equals to V naught sine omega t. But when you're under capacitance of a capacitor, that is, capacitance in AC circuit, it, it will be positive. But under resistance in an AC circuit, both of them, voltage and resistance, they are in phase. They are in phase together. Now, like R and C, an inductor L opposes the flow of current. That is, it has an impedance effect known as inductive reactance. Under inductor, we call it inductive reactant XL, and the unit is ohms. Then V equals to IXL. Instead of in ohms law, we have V equals to IR. But we have to, under inductor, we change that resistance to inductive resist inductive reactance. We change it to inductive reactance and not resistance. Now, the unit of XL is in ohms, as you have in resistance, and also XL, the formula for XL is 2 pi FL ohms, and L is in hertz, where the unit of L is Henry. All, the unit of L, that's inductor, is in Henry. Please take note, unit of inductor Henry. When you are solving a problem like this, the first thing to do is to write the parameters. Find the impedance, inductive reactance. We use XL to represent inductive reactance. That's what we are looking for. Across an inductor, L, 
equals 0 0.2 Henry. 0 0.2 Henry inductance. When an EC voltage of frequency 60 Hz is applied across it, if the voltage is given by V equals 150 sine 120 pi T, calculate the root mean square and the peak value of the currents. I root mean square, question mark, and I naught. We use I naught to represent the peak. The first thing to do is to write the general equation, which is V equals V naught sine omega T. Now, this V root mean square, you have to relate it with what you have here, and V naught stands for 150, that's V naught equals 150 volts, um, volts. And V root mean square standing for V. Now, what are we going to do when solving this problem? We are looking for XL. XL, that is inductive reactance, is 2 pi FL. For under capacitance FC, capacitive reactance is equal to 1 over 2 pi FC. Now, plus 2 times 3.142, which is given to us, times frequency, the frequency 60, times what's our inductor? 0 0.2. When you multiply it, what we have is 75.40 ohms. Unit of um, unit of inductive reactance is 75.40. Now we have V naught to be 150. 150. Next question says we should look for um, I root mean square. Don't forget we have V ohm's law because of I R. V root mean square root square resistance has ohm's law. Ohm's law. Now, since we are looking for we have V naught, we have V root mean square, and we are dealing with uh, inductor because of I root mean square. Instead of putting R, we put X. Yeah. If you are dealing with uh, capacitive and uh, capacitive uh, reactance, you put XC. Now we are looking for I root mean square. I root mean square equals V root mean square over XL. But we don't have V root mean square. From here, we have to write an expression that says you know, we have a particular formula that says I root mean square. I root mean square equals uh, I naught peak current over root 2. The same thing we have for V root mean square. V root mean square equals V naught over root 2, which is 1 over root 2. We have uh, 0 0.707 V naught V naught Now V root mean square because when you multiply it 0 0.707 what are V naught 150 When you do a multiplication you have 105 volts Next question is uh, we are looking for I naught. We are looking for I root mean square. I root mean square, you know that we have this I root mean square. We have V, v root mean square equals I root mean square times, you will not put R, X, L. We are looking for I root mean square. I root mean square equals V root mean square. Over, over XL and in the formal calculation that we did V root mean square we got it as 105 
and XL. We did the calculation previously. We have 75 point, uh, 75.40. When we divide it very well, we have 1.39 ampere. Now, the next one is peak current. Same thing, the way we relate V root mean square, I root mean square, and I say, you can say I have V naught voltage because of I naught XL. You have put V naught, put I naught, you put V root mean square, put I root mean square. That's just it. Don't mix V naught with I root mean square. When you are solving a problem like this, it goes hand in hand. Now, I naught equals V naught over X, L. What are V naught peak? That's V naught. 150 divided by X, L. 75.47. When you do your division of 1.99 ampere. This is the end of the class. Please subscribe to my channel so that I can get the latest video. Have a nice day.